This tower is called the Giant's Causeway. Now the Giant's Causeway is an actual part of Ireland and this one's a story from Ireland about two giants who are not the best of friends and it starts with this picture here. These two giants and this is the story of how that place came to be and it's a fantastic place, okay, the Giant's Causeway. Really, really interesting. It's a sort of lots of stone shapes. Maybe you can look that up and have a look at a picture of the Giant's Causeway. Okay, so, it's good there. so, the Giant's Causeway. Benadonna, a Scottish giant, peered out across the sea to the Irish coast. Hey, Finn McCall, you little weakling, he shouted. Are you picking weeds for your dinner? Finn had been pulling up potatoes. He straightened up and grunted with anger. His Scottish rival was said to be twice his size. But he, Finn of the Fianna, was a respected warrior, and he was not going to take insults from anyone. Why didn't you go and wash your filthy mouth out, Benadonna? I can smell your breath from over here, he shouted. The Scot bared his teeth as big as tombstones. Are you calling me unwashed? As dirty as a horsefly in dung. Belladonna's scowl was visible from across the sea. Ain't your lucky stars I can't swim, Finn McCool, or I'd come and crush you. Crush me, you big oaf, Finn boomed in reply. You couldn't swat a fly if it landed on your warty nose. Stop making excuses. I'll build you a bridge, Benadonna, so you can meet me face to face. He tore up a lump of rock from the cliff and hurled it into the water. Here's a stepping stone for you, Benadonna. And it landed with a splash that flooded half the fields in Cam County Antrim. Splash. And here's another. Splash. And another. Finn, said his wife Una, what are you doing? Let the oaf try to crush me, Finn snapped. I've always wanted to tackle that silly lump of gristle. He continued throwing the enormous boulders into the sea until he'd built a bridge, a causeway, right across the channel from Scotland to Ireland. There you are, Benadonna. You can come and get me whenever you like. The bridge started to shake as the Scot tested the first boulder with his enormous feet. Finn, you're in no fit state to fight, Una exclaimed. You must be exhausted from throwing all those boulders. Let him come, bragged Finn. I'll flatten him. Nonsense, said Una. You couldn't flatten a piece of paper if you sat on it. Now go and lie in the field behind the house. I'll think of something. It was getting dark when the Scottish giant stepped heavily onto the Irish shore. He really was much bigger than Finn McCall. Una was standing there, ankle deep in water, waiting for him. Are you Finn's wife? he asked. Yes, but Finn's not here, replied Una, her hands firmly on her hips. He went to get milk for the baby. Finn has children. Una nodded. A son? I've just put him to bed in the field, so don't you go waking him up. He'll be as big as his father when he's fully grown. Come and see. Finn's baby lay wrapped in a blanket that stretched from one end of the potato field to the other, a whole field. He was sucking an enormous thumb. Only three months old, gasped Benadonna, trying to keep the awe out of his voice. Finn had always seemed smaller than Benadonna from across the channel. But if the baby was this huge, there was no telling how enormous his father was. Benadonna was beginning to wonder if he might have made a terrible mistake. I can't wait to get my hands on your insolent husband, he said to Una keeping his voice low so he wouldn't wake the baby, but I forgot to take my porridge off the fire. I was in such a rush to get here, I mustn't let it burn. Well, no sense, no sense in letting good porridge go to waste, agreed Una. Now that Finn's built a causeway, you can come and go any time. You tell your husband that I'll be back tomorrow, said Benadonna. I don't take insults from anyone. I'll pass on the message. The Scottish giant scurried down to the shore and Una could hear him tearing the boulders out of the causeway as he raced home. He wanted to make sure that absolutely Finn wouldn't follow him. She poked the baby with her toe. Finn, take your filthy thumb out of your mouth. You can stop pretending now, Benadonna's gone. Finn sat up, pulling the blanket away from his face. Can you see what they've done? How they've tricked Benadonna. Good idea of ours to trick Benadonna into thinking I was me own son, he said with a grin. Yes, aren't we clever, Una snapped, heading in to roast a cow for dinner. Brains will always be brawn in the end. I love that. I 
a tale of how Finn tricked Belladonna. Right? Do you see how he did it by pretending to be his own son? A great story. And like I say, the Giant's Causeway is an actual place in Ireland okay, that stretches down to the sea. Right? It's fantastic. It's, there's not any other, any, many other places like that in the world. I think there's one in Cornwall. Right? And I'll put a picture on to show you that. But we'll do a little bit of writing. That's going to be one of our free writes, that one. Because it's a fantastic little story. And again, from a country nearby to ours. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and see you soon.